Guys, I almost forgot to do the inner corners. Oh my gosh. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's look. Okay, you guys know what it is. I am doing a super cute graphic liner for you guys. I saw the inspo on Instagram and I was like, ooh, I wanna try this. So we have a fun like blue graphic look with blue lashes. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do this. We skipped the base in this video because you guys don't really need that. So the video is focused on the eyes strictly and the lip. Yeah, if you guys want to see how I did this, then stay tuned. All right, you guys, so before we get started, I wanted to show you guys the look that I am totally about to copy. Um, this is the look I've seen on my Instagram, come on now, come on now, Instagram discovery page, and the artist's name is Kevin Luong, I believe I'm saying that right. Based in Texas, is a traveling makeup artist, and honestly, going through his feed, I had to follow. I'm like, oh my God, the looks are just, the looks are there, okay? The looks are there. So, I'm gonna try to copy what he did on this beautiful girl. Um, he used the Super Pomade from KVD, which I have the same color. And yeah, so I'm gonna try to do that. So I'm gonna start with the eyes. I usually don't do eyes first, but because I'm working with like color and a pomade at that, I wanna make sure I don't make mistakes. So we're gonna do the eyes first. And let me see, like, did he only listed a few of the products he used? Uh, it doesn't look like he did anything on the lid other than like, or maybe he did like a little light eyeshadow. I don't know, I'm gonna try to follow it as best as I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime. I'm gonna do my eyebrows actually after I finish the liner and stuff. I'm, I'm doing something different, I'm doing something real different. I know fall is here, but girl, like when I seen that, I was like, I need to try that. That sounds fun. So I went and primed my eyes. I'm using my NARS concealer and custard. So how I'm going to do this is actually, I'm gonna use a little bit of light shadows, but they're gonna be from like face powders, like bronzer and stuff like that, because in the picture, she has like a light, lightly contoured eye and a little bit of a matte, like lighter lid color. So I'm gonna do that and then get into the liner. I'm gonna use my bronzer from Fenty and it's the Caramel Cutie Bronzer and I feel like this would be a perfect light contour shade for my lid. And what I think he really did was made sure like he brought this like beautiful like bronze contour in the eye but like really making the eye look contoured, not just putting something in the crease. So I'm gonna really focus it like right here and like kind of like blowing it out. And then I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Micro um, Powder in the color Fair. This is like really, really light. I really don't use this all over my face. If anything, I'll once in a while I'll try to like put it in the, like this part of my eye if I feel like my dark circles is really cutting up. So this would be perfect for the lid though. And I'm just gonna take a flat brush. I'm gonna do try to do like a light cut with just the powder if I can get away with it. Because in the picture, like you can see where, you can see the line, you know what I mean? Like where the contour is and then where the lid shade is. But it wasn't like heavy. So that's why I didn't really wanna cut my crease with my concealer because it really was not heavy. All right, so we're gonna move into liner and this is the star of the show. This is the Super Brow Pomade in Satellite Blue and this is exactly what he used from what he wrote down. And I'm not really a big graphic liner person. I love liner, like smoked out liner, so I'm not really, I don't have tools, I think, for like a specific, like precise graphic liner. I have these, so let's make them work. I think I got these two, two um, brushes from Michaels. Check them out, and then this is my Kat Von D angled brush. So, to me, it doesn't look very complicated. It's literally graphic liner, so boom, a wing, and then flick it into the crease, a little inner cat eye, and then I think the most difficult part is probably trying to get the lashes to be blue, which I'm gonna be using this product too. I'll show you guys that. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna just get started. This product, I don't wanna go straight in with a whole bunch because I like to just keep what I did there, just do it right the first time, you know what I mean? So, whew, and mind you, I have a completely different eye shape 
than her and her eye shape and this line, everything, is the whole look is just popping. So I'm really hoping that I can really emulate this with my eyes because it looks like to me that he put the liner all over the lid, but her lids are smaller than mine. So, yeah. I don't, I don't know, so we're just gonna have to try it out. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is actually do one eye and then I'll do the other eye off camera. So I'm gonna start with this eye. And I'm just going to kind of, I want it to be thick, like obviously how she has it, but I really cannot put this all over my lid because my lid is just too big. So. I actually thought to bring you guys in closer because it would make sense, right? Okay, now that you guys are pretty close, <laughs> um, right now I'm kind of just like creating the shape that I want and I started on the lid because, I don't know, I did. Um, so he has it really brought all the way into the inner corner and then it's like really thin and then it tapers into like a little um, cat eye wing, inner wing situation. So. Now I'm starting at the base of the wing and kind of tapering that out. And it looks pretty lifted. So I'm gonna switch to this like really thin, I don't even know what kind of brush this is. It's like a really just thin brush, okay? You guys know what this is if you've gone to Michaels, okay? And I'm going to work this brush on the tail of the wing to like really make it sharp and kind of just correct anything that looks like not as precise and then I'm going to move into that inner corner and really like thin it out just like a line here and then just kind of finish building Then we're gonna go ahead and move on to like bringing the second part of the wing into the crease. Now his, from the angle of the picture, his wing, like the second part of the wing that goes into the crease, it kind of like does like a little curvature and then kind of flips into the crease. So I'm gonna try that using the same brush. Making sure I don't have too much product though. All right, so here we are. Um, I didn't put it directly in my crease because it will just, it would fold. <laughs> like, that doesn't make sense. So I put it slightly above. So that way when I'm looking normal at you, you can still see the liner. And then I am just taking more product and kind of thickening, thickening, <laughs> thickening it up. We're getting somewhere, it's not as cool as his, but you know, whatever. My lids is just, girl, my lids is too big. Sometimes they just don't work for people, okay? So I'm gonna just fill in the rest of this. Um, I think what I'm gonna actually do is wait to do the inner corner because I'm gonna be doing like concealer and all that stuff. But we need to get to the lashes. And he only did top lashes. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. Okay, so moving on to lashes, I'm gonna be using the same pomade and I'm gonna be taking a lash spoolie. And I'm basically going to rub my brush into this product and coat my lashes. And I'm also gonna use this to coat my false lashes. So let's get started. I am just kind of just, ooh, getting in there. And we're just going to coat our lashes. Actually, let me curl my lashes first before I do that because you know your girl ain't got the lashes. All right, so let's get started. And I kind of want to work quickly because 
This product is really workable, but I don't want it to dry because it's not really mascara, you know? All right, so I'm gonna take some lashes from Lily Lashes. These are the style of Lavish. And hers looks pretty wispy, but not like super thick either. So what I'm actually going to do is take my spoolie with the pomade and I'm gonna run this through the lashes. Let me see if I can show you guys in a good angle. Kind of like that. And I'm just gonna do this until I feel like it's coated enough. And then make sure you get the band as well. And I feel like if you do it on the tray that the lashes comes in, it like makes it so much easier, um, less messy. So yes, go through it. And I kind of like this too, because it kind of breaks the lashes up a little bit, makes it look a little bit more natural, like a natural wispy, because it's not all uniform when you have like naturally long lashes. I'm gonna do this other lash here and then I'm gonna let them sit and dry, do the other side of my eye, and then we're gonna go ahead and apply them because I don't wanna like touch on it if it's going to just smear. <laughs> so yeah, let me do that and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I had to correct it just a little bit, so the process wasn't as smooth as I would like it to be, but I think this is as good as it's gonna get. Okay, we gonna have to move on. So I'm gonna take my lashes because they feel like they've sat for a while. I hope they're dry. Okay, so here is our lash. I'm going to apply my lash glue and I'm going to apply them. The look will come together, okay? The look will come together. I repeat, once again, the look will come together. That was so hard to do. Like I skipped over most of it because I literally had to sit back out of focus, figure out how to put these lashes on. I don't know if it's because they're a fresh pair so they weren't like molded to my eye yet or if it was a pomade, but I had a hard time getting these lashes to like sit. So they're sitting, um, to be honest with you, like as I'm looking at the liner and the lashes, like Honestly, I don't see what you really can do in person because there's just like a lot, it just doesn't look super clean, if that makes any sense. But at the same time, like how is it gonna look clean? I just put a whole bunch of pomade on lashes, on my lashes, on my lid. Like, it's not gonna look that clean in my opinion. I just don't see how you could because, I mean, just build up. But. I think it's fun. Um, I'm low key kind of regretting this only because I know this is going to be very difficult to take off. Like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm about to do with my eyes because my eyes are about to suffer. But it's okay, it's fun, we're gonna do the look. So what I'm gonna actually do is do my face routine and then when we get to the lips, I'll show you guys the lip color. But honestly, I don't really need to show you guys my face right now in this video because you guys see that so often and it has not changed. You guys know what products I like to use. You guys know how I like to whoop, whoop and whoop. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just do my face off camera, clean my fingers, and yeah, I'll be right back. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna use for my lips because I feel like the lips is just a really beautiful brownie nude. So I'm gonna be using HodgePodge and this e.l.f. liner from their Retro Paradise collection. I'm gonna use these to line my lips, and then I'm gonna be using this lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury and Yes Honey. So I'm gonna line my lips. I'll probably speed through this or cut this out, but yeah. All right, so I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Yes Honey. I hope that this is a good shade. Let me look at the picture real quick. I think so. She really has like a basic pretty brownie nude on. So I think this will work. And then I'm going to put on some gloss. So what I like to do with clear gloss because I hate when my doe foot applicator has like actual colored lipstick on. So I like to like kind of put it on my finger and then apply it because that irks me girl. The dirty doe foots with like clear gloss. No ma'am, not for me. So this is the shade Glass Slipper. And just apply some in the center. Cause she had a glossy lip. 
Hey guys, so I really just straightened my hair and called it good. I was gonna put on a shirt, but she was wearing like a cheetah print shirt and I ain't had one. But anyway, really, to be honest with you, what am I doing? So this is the look. Um, I think it's so dope. Honestly, would I do this again? Probably not because honestly, I am so worried that I'm gonna have such a hard time taking this off my eye. Like, and to be honest with you, like the way I did it now in photos, it obviously isn't gonna look all caked up and everything like that because I would edit it. <laughs> but in real life, it just kind of looks caked up and like it's fun, but like, it's not something like I would want to wear all the time up close in people's faces because it does look like caked up. Like people see the vision, but they also see the mess. Guys, I almost forgot to do the inner corners. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into the pomade. And that's so funny because I literally, as soon as I was done with this wing, I took my brushes and dumped them. Well, not dumped them, but like put them in like a bowl of like soap and water because I already know it's gonna be terrible to scrub it out. So I don't want it to get super hard. So I'm gonna use a different brush and hopefully I'll still have the same effect. Um, she has super like exaggerated inner corners. So that's what I'm gonna try to do here. Let's see. All right, so this is as good as it's going to be. Um, I feel like the inner corners do like kind of put the look Together. But yes, yeah, so this was kind of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this graphic liner moment. And I want to shout out Kevin. I believe it's Luong. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm so sorry. But I want to shout out him because this was his look. I stole it. And you got to give credit where credit is due. It is so bomb. And I'm so happy that he shared it because I feel super cool, super cute, and all that good stuff. So, like, of course, comment down below what you guys think of the look. Are you guys following him? Um, are you guys going to do this yourself? What do you think? And of course, subscribe to my channel because girl I need you to watch my videos that's just is that simple okay and lastly I love you guys I'll see you next time bye